cancer, the big C. A terrifying diagnosis, no matter what country you live in. Now imagine not having access to proper pain medication. That's the situation across the developing world today, where morphine is in incredibly short supply. As lifestyles change and people live longer, more and more are dying of cancer. Adults, and worst of all children, are left in crippling agony, even though morphine is affordable and easily administered. <laughs> <laughs> Senegal has the second most stable economy in West Africa and a good track record in treating cancer and HIV. So this horrendous situation isn't caused by a lack of money, medics or facilities. So why the shortage? It appears that bureaucracy is the primary reason for all of this suffering. As morphine is an opiate and therefore a controlled substance, the Senegalese Health Ministry only orders supplies based on what doctors prescribe. And since doctors rarely have any supplies of morphine, they are rarely able to prescribe it. Management of chronic pain is something that medical professionals have only had to deal with as survival rates have improved, meaning that many are unfamiliar with pain relief treatment. And there is a deep suspicion of morphine, even amongst doctors, because of the potential for addiction and overdose. The situation is a desperate catch-22. But it's a problem that has a simple solution. We are completely distressed. It's extremely agonizing for us. We take it personally and we will not rest until we can find ways to alleviate the pain. Senegal and other countries facing this epidemic of pain must take action. Ending this suffering is achievable.